College Station, uh, not to bash them or anything, but as a city, it's becoming less and less affordable, especially for low-income families. And Bryan continues to be seen as the more affordable. You know, a what we would call low-income family can still, in parts of the city, be able to live. But for how much longer? Um, we're seeing, in my opinion, we're seeing College Station rapidly becoming uh, more like what you're seeing in Austin. And by that, what I mean is that the low-income people are being pushed out of the city limits or out into another city. It's, it's a, um, from our perspective, it's, it's a big issue when, when all different income levels cannot live in a city. Do you see Brian headed that way? And is there anything we can do and should we do to stop it? Well, I, unfortunately, I do see Brian headed that direction. Uh, and and there's some of this, it's out of our hands. I mean, we have sort of a perfect storm right now. We talked a little bit off mm -hmm. camera about some of the challenges that we've been seeing in the last couple of years uh, from a national political perspective. Yeah. Uh, we've got interest rates for the first time. You know, I'm, I'm a real estate broker, mm -hmm. and uh, I can remember 25 years ago when interest rates were seven and a quarter percent, and you were dying to get a seven and a quarter percent rate. Yep. Uh, no one believed we would we would ever get down to the you know one and two percent mm -hmm. interest rates on a mortgage. Uh, now we're seeing them creep back up, and it looks like they're going to go a little bit higher. Okay. You have this uh, outrageous uh, valuations right. that are causing, uh, whether they are legitimate or not, they're causing our property taxes to skyrocket. That's another challenge, you know, that's real. And you have a smaller, a smaller uh, sample of people that are paying those taxes mm -hmm. because we're continuing to, for obvious, uh, ultimately, yeah. You know, noble reasons, we're exempting more and more groups, which makes sure. the, the pool of taxpayers a smaller pool, which right. makes that that uh, even even more difficult. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, you've got uh, in the, the it's a supply and demand, and mm -hmm. uh, you know we're seeing the state legislature made it more difficult to annex property. Right. And uh, as a result, I think we're going to uh, we're going to find, in my opinion, we're going to find out that that was a uh, misguided. Uh, hmm. Effort. I think that uh, the um, we're going to see the development, and we're mm -hmm. going to see much of the growth. But the problem is that growth is going to be unincorporated. It's going to mm -hmm. be unplanned. It's going to be hodgepodge. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be somebody with five or ten acres that just mm -hmm. wants to make some money on it, and, and there won't be as much uh, as much uh, planning. Mm -hmm. And and while I'm not a big central government guy, uh, I do think that the cities absolutely need to plan plan for the future it's how mm -hmm. we deal with traffic it's how we deal with uh, you know how we get a fire truck from point a to point b sure. how we get sure. water and sewer uh so uh, i'm hopeful that we can uh, you know that if we can look at uh w when the economy sort of stabilizes a little bit hopefully we can begin to start bringing interest rates back down a little bit okay uh once the economy stabilizes a little bit and we begin to address the supply chain issues that are worldwide yeah. that are causing the cost right. of building to skyrocket. Oh, yeah. I mean, literally, we're talking about a perfect storm that's causing housing yeah. prices to go through the roof. Yeah. And, uh, you know, when you're looking at uh, my wife spends all of, her, all of her time on Zillow. Hmm. Uh, we're not moving anywhere, but she's constantly looking. Oh, yeah. Yesterday, we're sitting outside, and she uh, she's pulling up houses in Bryan that are in perfectly fine neighborhoods, but they're older neighborhoods. Yeah. And, uh, and we're looking at $130, $140, $150 a square foot. Wow. For 45, 50 year old houses. Yeah. Uh, just outrageous. <laughs> that uh, is. And I don't know how the young people that are entering the housing market, uh, how they're ultimately going to, you know, young people that are young professionals yeah. might not have as much difficulty, but as the, the, some of the folks mm -hmm. you mentioned, I mean, we've got, uh, we're, we've got the city of Bryan is working very closely with Bryan ISD mm -hmm. and the CTE center. We're trying to keep some of our young people here by right. giving them the occupational talents that they're going to need. But where do they uh, live? That's exactly right.